Well, uh, Donald Trump uh, did what uh, everyone expected uh, him to do. First of all, it was uh, defend and make the case for the past four years, uh, presenting uh, all of uh, the uh, achievements uh, as a president, whether it was on the economy and foreign policy and social issues. Uh, so Donald Trump spent a good deal uh, of time on that, uh, really making the case for why people should vote for him uh, for four more years, but most of the speech was, uh, as you said, uh, an attack on uh, Joe Biden. And there were two aspects to that attack. The first one was pretty much uh, a sort of uh, answer to uh, Joe Biden's uh, speech last week at the Democratic uh, convention. Remember uh, that there was a lot of talk of uh, darkness versus uh, light in uh, that speech that Joe Biden gave. Well, Donald Trump uh, replied that America was not a land cloaked in darkness. America was uh, is the torch that enlightens the rest of uh, the world. Uh, he also answered uh, Joe Biden's uh, claim that this was a battle for the soul of America. Uh, Donald Trump saying that Joe Biden was not the savior of uh, that uh, American soul, uh, but he was instead uh, the destroyer of American uh, greatness. And then he went on to attack uh, Joe Biden on more uh, concrete uh, aspects, uh, really uh, sort of himself writing the agenda of what he thought the Democratic Party and Joe Biden would do if uh, they came into the White House, and really painting a bleak picture of what a Democratic America would uh, look like. Uh, he also, uh, and that was something that people uh, were waiting to see, uh, he uh, did talk about the unrest in uh, U.S. Uh, cities. He mentioned cities like Minneapolis, like Portland, and like Kenosha, which is the latest uh, place where we've seen a, a police a shooting followed by protest, followed by violence. But he did not mention the name of Jacob Blake, the man who was shot by the police. He uh, really focused on criticizing and on attacking the looters, the rioters, those who were creating the violence, and again, expressing his support for law enforcement and his refusal to bow down uh, to uh, what he sees as simply uh, rioters and not really taking into account uh, the peaceful part of uh, those uh, protests and uh, the call for racial equality. And this one-sided message seems to be consistent with what the Trump campaign has been pushing all along, uh, Donald Trump doubling down on his message of law and order. Yes, this was uh, really uh, the running theme throughout uh, this, uh, these four days of uh, convention. Uh, we heard most of the speakers, and at least uh, several every single night, talking about in law and order, and Donald Trump's speech uh, was no different. He really doubled down on that. He uh, really uh, tried to warn the people who were watching him of what would come if uh, the Democrats uh, came to power, and he used uh, the examples of those uh, cities where there has been unrest, as saying that, see what is going on in these cities that happen to be run by Democrats, well, this will be all over the United States. And the reason why they're focusing so much on law and order is because the suburbs are going to be key, and people, moderates, independents, undecided voters are going to be key. And they feel that if they insist on this, on the threat to the American suburban life from this violence, they could get some of these independents or moderates back to uh, the Republicans. And that is why the line has been throughout the week, you will not be safe in Joe Biden's America. All right. Thank you very much, Kevin. Kevin